for inviting us in. It's now six o'clock and tonight a school district is put on notice by parents of a special education student allegedly forced to eat what he threw up at school. The child's parents just took the first step in a legal process to sue the Brownsburg Community School Corporation. Emily Longnecker has been digging into the legal documents just filed. Emily? Well, Scott and Felicia, we know this alleged incident happened on February 16th, but according to the lawsuit, the child's parents didn't learn about it until almost two months later when they got a call from the school principal saying they needed to talk. The lawsuit claims when the parents went to the meeting, the school failed to prepare them before showing them video of their child eating his own vomit while a teacher laughed and others looked on. The lawsuit names five teachers and aides with the district who were either there when it happened or heard about it. The lawsuit claims they all had a duty to report the alleged incident to the Department of Child Services, but none of them did. In the days following, the parents say their child showed anxiety and depression around eating and going to school and say he'll need extensive therapy, education at a private school, and medical and psychological care for an extended period of time. The lawsuit also says the district had a duty to train its employees on child abuse and neglect and a duty to report, but failed to do so. All of the teachers or aides involved have either been fired or resigned. Two were charged with neglect of a dependent. All five were charged with failure to report.